Today I want to share with you my Inktober drawings. If you're not familiar with Inktober, it's a month-long art challenge that was created by artist Jake Parker. It's focused on improving your skill and developing positive drawing habits. So day one was fish, and so I enjoyed doing some of my line drawing that if you've been here before, you've seen me do a little bit of, so there's some fish. Day two was Wisp, and I think Wisp was one of the easiest ones, so I drew little wisps of hair for the second day. The third day was Bulky, and what I thought of with Bulky is um, Bulky Yarn, and so that's what I tried to draw. I think it comes across as rope, but that's okay. Rope can be bulky, too. So I'm st stuck with line drawing so far. Day four was Radio. And honestly, I really didn't want to draw a radio, so you can see how I partially got out of that by just drawing a little piece of a radio and then the, the music coming from it. Day five was Blade. I figured there would be a lot of swords and knives and things for blades, so I, I stuck with a different kind of blade and drew a bunch of grass. Day six is Rodent. And there's a little story behind this. These are two Christmas ornaments that were given to my husband and I when we got married. And so it's kind of the tradition. We hold them out to the side every year at Christmas when we decorate our tree and put them on together last after everybody has pretty much gone to bed for the night. So it's kind of a fun tradition. And I've been wanting to draw these for a long time. So I drew these for rodent. Um, day seven was fancy. And this one really stumped me. You know, I could have drawn a fancy dress. What I got in my head I wanted to do was to draw a chandelier, but um, I could never, I tried a number of times, get a real chandelier. So I just drew this funny, funny drawing that I guess if you squint your eyes and turn your head sideways, you might can pretend it's a chandelier. If you all look at it and as each layer, it also looks like a bunch of tiered mustaches. So, day eight was teeth. And when I try to do any kind of realistic or portrait drawing, teeth is always where I get stuck. So I didn't want to do anything related to people teeth. So I found a comb, an old fashioned comb and drew that for my teeth. Day nine was throw. And for throw, this is actually from a picture we have in a photo album. That's my youngest son. And I had made him a quilt. This was many years ago. And so he was modeling it for me. I had a, a quilt blog at the time. So I drew, drew that from that picture. Day 10 is Hope, and I, I struggled to come up with something for this, but once I did, I was really excited about what I, I thought of. So here's a little tree hoping to grow up into a big tree like all the trees around it. Day 11 is Disgusting. Um, <laughs> this was funny. So, um, some people don't know what this is, but this is, you can get rolls of sticky tape to hang places to catch flies if you have a problem with flies. And the color of the tape is this gross yellow color. Um, so I drew a bunch of those and I didn't have the window in here at first. And so you couldn't tell the perspective. This looks like a floor and a wall. So I had to add the window so you could see that it's a wall and a ceiling. Um, and I broke some glass so that way that's, that's how the flies are getting in. But um, those, those tapes are disgusting and when they have flies on them, they're even more disgusting. Um, slippery, I, that was a challenge for me as well. And so I finally just decided I would draw a can of WD-40. Um, I think most people are familiar with this. It's, it's an oil. It solves many squeaks and stuck things. WD-40 is a very versatile, slippery thing. And I would say this is my least favorite of all of mine. This was supposed to be Dune. And what I was trying to do is draw um, very, very small sand dunes on the sides of a boardwalk. But I don't know if it's my coloring or my drawing, and I really spent a little time on this, but it looks like rocks on either side of the boardwalk, and that's okay. I know I can work on that for next year. Um, back to some of my favorite line drawing styles. This is armor. Um, my husband and I have been talking about writing a children's story involving a turtle, so I had turtle on the brain anyway, so that's where the armor came from. Uh, 15 is Outpost, and um, when I was a kid, this was 
we didn't have a fancy tree house like this or anything, but that was our favorite thing to do was to go climb in the trees and pretend like we were on the lookout for stuff. So that's what made me think of this one. And 16 is Rocket, another nostalgic drawing. Um, growing up, we had bottle rockets, they're little fireworks. And the thing to do was to go out in the middle of the street. I lived in a suburban neighborhood and prop up one of these bottle rockets in a Coke bottle and light it and let it blast off. 17 is Storm. Um, I think I drew this. This is the th my third attempt at Storm. And if, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but the lightning is done with a silver metallic pen. Um, the problem I had with this one is I had a reference photo and I was so determined to make it exactly like the reference photo that I kept uh, messing it up. So I had to go back and use a little bit of imagination. So you've got the rain to the left and the lightning coming down from the stormy skies. 18 is Trap. Um, this is another one from my childhood. I don't know how many of you ever played this game, but this is from the game Mouse Trap. And there are all sorts of pieces of, and parts, and I think I had more fun setting the board up rather than playing the game. But this is like a, a little ramp. So something falls on this ramp, makes this guy jump in here, and that makes the trap fall down on top of the mouse. So good old Mouse Trap. 19 is Dizzy, so I just went for a basic optical illusion that might make you dizzy. 20 is Coral, and so I went for sort of a doodle style on this one. I had done a similar drawing um, right before this that was um, all colors. You'll see that in a, in a video coming up. Um, but I just used some black and white and made me something that look, looked a little bit like Coral, or Coral Reef. 20 is, is this 20 or 21? It's either 20 or 21. This is sleep, and there's nothing cuter than a sleeping baby, so I wanted to try to capture that. And this one is chef, and the only reference, real reference, I had any kind of real chef is when uh, the once or twice a year when we will go out for hibachi, and you know, they always put the oil on the the cooking service and light it on fire to wow you. So that's the chef I drew from the Hibachi restaurant. 23 is Rip. And um, I'm gonna show my age here, but I have, have yet to adapt to the trend of ripped jeans. So that was the first thing I thought of when I saw the the uh, prompt for the day with some, some ripped jeans. 24 is Dig. And I have to confess, my original thought for this was to draw a picture of a child picking their nose, but my mother told me I better not dare do that, so we resorted to the dog digging in the sand. And 25 is Buddy. And another thing from my childhood, we used to have um, an ice cream truck come through the neighborhood once a week or so, and the thing that I would always get is a Nutty Buddy. 26 is Hide. And I think I enjoy drawing this one more than almost any of them in here. Um, the, the cat's eyes, that green is a metallic green, so I don't know if you can, can get the shimmer from that, but that made it look pretty cool. 27 is Music, and um, I play the flute. So this is an open hole flute. This is not my flute. My flute's very plain but I found a picture of this really fancy, special, custom-made flute, it looks like, with lots of um, leaves and other embellishments, so I thought it was really beautiful, so I wanted to try to capture that for music. And 28 is float, and so I wanted to do something calm, so there's a leaf floating on the water. And you can tell towards the end, I get all into my colors. 29 is shoes and so I drew this pile of shoes because it reminded me of a game that I used to play as a kid at school where the teacher would have everybody take off one of their shoes and would put them in a pile in the center of the room and she would scramble them all up and then we had to race and see who could find their shoe and get it on their foot fastest. Um, 30 is ominous and this is from the Wizard of Oz movie. This is the sign they see when they first get to the woods. Um, that was a favorite movie of mine. And in fact, today is October 31st. And before there were 
cable networks and streaming and all of that, um, typically uh, Wizard of Oz would play on October 31st and it was always a big deal to try to be in front of the TV when that movie came on. And then last is Crawl. And so I just drew part of a baby crawl. I uh, decided I would keep it safe and not have to draw a face and all that kind of stuff. So you get the message here, baby crawling. And so that, that wraps up all of my drawing for Inktober for this year. I hope you enjoyed flipping through this with me. And uh, we'll get back to more art process videos next time. So thanks so much for joining me. I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel and uh, press that like button if you like this video. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Thank you.